I made a terrible mistake today. I let my father in on a piece of hacker humor or, or internet humor that he wasn't ready for. And I, I definitely wasn't ready to share it with him. So I wanted to, I'm going to share the story and it's going to be awkward for, for the both of us. And I hope you, hope you enjoy. <laughs> so I, before we jump in, I need to give a little bit of context to what I, I shouted at him in this closed space, which was the car when this took place. Rick rolling. It's not what happened, but it is something you need to know about. Rick rolling is a prank you can pull on friends. It's an innocent thing you can do where you trick someone into watching Rick Astley's video, music video of Never Gonna Give You Up. And it's actually kind of a, a good song. I think I find it catchy and fun. But the goal is just to trick someone into going to this site. But that's not where the prank originated. Well, that's nice and innocent and fun to listen to. It actually originated on the 4chan forum of tricking someone into going to shock sites. And there's quite a few of these shock sites that still remain in their grotesque, in their not something you want to share with family or friends. And, and maybe even when you pull this prank on friends, you do it with close friends who you have a relationship and you can share each other's uh, sorrows and misfortunes when they visit the site. So that's that's the context of one of these sites. And friends and I came up with a really, I feel, clever way of getting each other's phones to Google it. And there was rules around this. You would wait till they said, OK, Google, or hey, Siri, and activated their device. And my, <laughs> let's, let's not have it, uh, my own devices start searching. So you would shout that out and you would get it to search. And anytime you heard someone's phone or they activated their phone with, okay, Google or Hey Siri, you would jump in and just blurt out something and their phone would be sent on a journey of the new exploration that it wasn't really expecting. So when I was in the truck with my father, um, driving on a rather long trip, when I heard him say, hey Siri, and it started listening without even thinking like a Pavlonian response, I shouted out, Google. And I immediately got the biggest smile on my face because I knew I had gotten him. I had injected my command and it was gonna be sending his phone off to search this and display images of it. And then it started to hit me who I was in the car with. I was in the car with my dad. <laughs> and I I think it's like live streams I've been doing on Saturday, DEF CON. It's gotten into my head that my hacker culture and my humor is now leaking into uh, my family who, who hasn't witnessed that, that part of me before. And as I connected eyes with my father, I knew I had, to, I had no other choice. I jumped across the truck. I grabbed his phone and I immediately got Siri to stop searching. Uh, I wasn't quick enough. It did let me know. It found search results. So while, while I was able to uh, scrub his internet history, I think it will take a little bit longer, a little bit longer to, to scrub this memory from uh, both of our, our memories. Uh, it, it's, you know, I, we, we have that bonding experience now. Uh, I, I wasn't, not something I wanted to do, but something, you know what, I get to share with you and I hope you enjoy. If you, if you enjoyed the story, give it an upvote because I think YouTube kind of likes those things. But if not, whatever, subscribe and hack on.